Hey, welcome to GAC Nights from the Country Music Hall of Fame and Museum in downtown Nashville, where the 43rd Annual Academy of Country Music Award nominations were just announced. The ACM Sunday, May 18th, live on CBS from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 Central. And for the 10th time in a row, Reba McIntyre will take the stage. And as you can bet, GAC will be on hand with the exclusive coverage of the orange carpet leading right up to the big show. Well, this morning, the ACM reigning man Male and female vocalist Brad Paisley and Carrie Underwood on hand to do the honors of announcing the nominees. Here's Carrie Underwood with the Entertainer of the Year category. For Entertainer of the Year, the nominees are Kenny Chesney, Rascal Flatts, George Strait, Keith Urban, and Brad Paisley. All right. <laughs> This Carrie Underwood with the announcement for the nominations in the Entertainer of the Year category for the upcoming ACM Awards. Hey, welcome back to GAC Nights, the 43rd Annual Academy of Country Music Awards, Sunday, May 18th. Of course, live in Las Vegas at the MGM Grand on CBS while the nominations announced this morning. Top female vocalist, reigning top female vocalist, once again nominated Miss Carrie Underwood. Congratulations. Thank you very much. How does it feel to hear your name? I mean, do you... You're pro at this. I mean, this is your third ACM award that you're going into. Do you get used to it? Um, I mean, I I don't think I would want to get used to it. Um, I mean, I'm not used to waking up super early to do <laughs> announcements. But um, I mean, that's what you hope for when you when you come in and you announce things and you cross your fingers and hope your name's called in one of the categories. Is it just as exciting hearing your name as it was maybe that first year when you're up for top new and top um, new? Definitely. I mean, the the first year, I don't think I actually thought I would be nominated. Mm -hmm. um, so it was more of a surprise than anything. But now it's kind of like I get a little more nervous, you know, um, hoping that it will be called. My name will be called. <laughs> well, you talk about the differences over the last two years. I mean, now, I mean, who would have thought? I mean, just last year, you're not only co-headlining, you're headlining as well. Right. You talk about a little bit of responsibility. A little bit. Yeah. Um, you don't really realize how much responsibility uh, a tour actually carries until you're out there and you see how many people... Um, their jobs depend on you doing your job right. and, and depend on you doing it as good as you can to pull people in to keep everything going around and it's, it's a lot of work um, but it's fun it's it's fun getting to see all the people that go out and buy the albums and mm -hmm. it's it's just it's a good thing to get out on the road and and do your thing. You talk about the differences in co-headlining. Of course, I mean, everybody's going to go, well, you know, Keith Urban, why have you guys paired up? For the obvious reasons, of course, you know, he's a good-looking guy. He's talented. He's sweet. But talk about the differences in doing that tour and then switching because it seems like you're going back and forth a lot. Right. Um, well, I really enjoy just mixing things up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we did it um, when I was on tour with uh, Kenny Chesney and Brad Paisley. We had a few of, like, my own dates in between. This one's a little bit bigger with an actual like headlining tour right. um, in the mix too but I love doing different kinds of things there's different kinds of crowds and and me and Keith together I think we're a good a good pair a good contrast you know there's his fans there and there's my fans there and they're loving both of us and that's the whole point to get out there and reach new people and being on the road with Josh Turner he's amazing mm. he's so sweet and uh, it's just great to mix things up going back to the Keith Urban tour the two of you singing together on stage has that's happened right um we've been known to a couple times Times. Um, we've also been known not to, so it just depends, you know, on how we're feeling, what's going on. Um, just, just, yeah, you never know. Speculation, of course, everybody going, well, we see you singing together. Maybe, who knows, a duet from Carrie and Keith down the road. You never know. <laughs> That's kind of how me and Brad got got to do our, our collaborations. So. Speaking of Brad Paisley, of course, you, two of you announced this morning the nominations for the ACMs. Having worked with Brad and artists like Brad, do you take those elements, and not specific elements, but overall put into practice into your own tour now that you're headlining? Um, you kind I've of taken notes along the way. I think it's impossible not to pick up things as you go yeah. along. And you see like how those artists, how Kenny and Keith and Brad... Um, how the fans react to them and what they do and, and things that they say and how sure. they say them and how they play and, and all that stuff. And, and you just think, wow, I want to be like that. Right. I want to do that. I want to. I want these fans to scream for me like they do that. So, um, I mean, just picking things up along the way, and like you said, not specific things, right. not you know, stealing anything sure, from sure. them, but um, just just learning from the pros. Can we talk girl talk for a second? Now sure we thing. look, of course, May eighteenth, the Academy of Country Music Awards. When do you start thinking about what am I going to wear, what am I going to perform? Because obviously, what you're performing in, what you're walking the orange carpet in, different. When does that all come into play? Um, 
goodness. I mean, I guess it depends on, like, the whole performance element um, when you figure out if and when and, like, whatever. You, you have to kind of build around that. So it's kind of everybody else making their mm -hmm. tweaks and decisions first before you can actually make yours. So it'll probably be about three weeks out before I'll start, like, really thinking about stuff. Looking forward to seeing you out there in okay. Vegas and being Miss Carrie Underwood and possessing one of the most beautiful voices of music, you get to do some cool projects and I'm talking about how great thou art. Yes. Taking the stage at the Grand Ole Opry. Did you enjoy that, that I experience? I did. Um, I mean, I, I've, I grew up in church singing hymns and when we were asked to do that, that project, it was kind of a no-brainer. And um, I looked through all these lists of, of songs and that one just kind of stuck out and and ended up singing it, ended up being, you know, the title of the CD and, uh -huh. and things like that. And it was just amazing to me that, I don't know, it was a, another thing I got to do and be a part of that I can really be proud of. Congratulations on your Thank nomination. You. Again, we look forward to seeing you in Vegas. Thank Let's you. go ahead and play it. Miss Carrie Underwood and How Great Thou Art.